All right. So we about to talk about Alter Carbon, the first season of it. I'm I'm assuming first season because yeah, that was I, the first. Because I'm thinking it's gonna come back. Because yeah. I'm thinking the reviews for it, you know, the views for it is, is gonna be pretty good. Well, it's based off a book, so that was the first part of that book. So they, I think they got like three books. The first was Alter Carbon. The second one, I forgot what the name of it was called. Uh, so they, gonna, they better keep their name. If they change the name, shit, you know we ain't gonna. Be well, it's probably gonna be Alter Carbon, uh, uh, something, something. Phantom Menace. Yeah, something stupid <laughs> like that. Um, it, it's a pretty good show. Uh, it's one of the most visually beautiful shows I've ever seen. It looked like something that was shot like. Yeah, it looked like it had Black Panther budget. Budget, <laughs> yeah. I, I give it that. My, my first thoughts, I didn't want to watch it. Like, he, he told me to watch the show. And I was watching it a little bit by his house, and I was like, eh, I'm not too impressed because I didn't know any other actors. Yeah. And the crazy thing about it is like some of the actors and stuff, we're well, not going to see some of them. My homeboy, like he was Rick Flagg in, in Suicide Squad. I had to look at Wikipedia to yeah, see he his, his new other stuff. Cow. Yeah, he played in a lot of stuff, lot. but you just never recognize him as, a, as an actor. But this might be a breakout of one of his breakout roles right here. It's, a, it's real good. Him, the Chinese dude, I, I liked him also. When you talking about which one? The one? His, his first sleeve. His first sleeve, yeah. Well, well basically, since we're talking about the sleeves and stuff, well, if you have not watched the show, what the show is about is like a futuristic take. And it's like people, you can take your human consciousness and transfer, from, it. And transfer it in different bodies. So what they call the bodies are sleeves. So they don't they don't really take uh, like mortality and think of it as, as we do. Like it's, it's a... Like you can murder somebody, um, like... And that's one of the main plot devices of the show. You can murder somebody, you can rape somebody, you can do this or that, and you can get them another sleeve. You can live out certain fantasies. That it, it's kind of crazy. It's a dark story, but um, it's basically like anything you do to somebody, if you have the money or the power, yeah. you can get them another sleeve. Or, so it, it, yeah. it is basically like uh, the richer you are, you you kind of like a god or stuff. Because yeah. because it, it does based on uh, monetary shit and stuff. Because like the poor people, you can't can't afford sleeves and shit. Like another body is like your your out your income for your whole life. But if you're rich, you can get clones and, yeah. and you can back up your stuff so you you can kill yourself and you can come right back. And there's also alternate bodies like you could get a body and change your shape and your form and stuff which you saw that at the end right? yeah, yeah um, it was funny because they had uh it's funny and it's tragic because they had a, a couple that lost their daughter at the beginning the very first episode and you see this old ass woman and she's like mom and she's older than the parents and they're like what did you do to our daughter and they were like that's the best sleep we could um find for her but she can't be they the old the grandpa no, the, no, oh, that's, the, that's a different thing. No, but, that, uh, that was different. With, with the grand, with the grandma came, came yeah. back. Uh, they had a birthday party, and like I guess every you, you can rent, you can rent like a body for like a special occasion or whatever. You know, she could afford. She got this big tattoo dude, <laughs> and it was the grandmother. So, like I don't know if this is gonna discourage you from the show or whatever. Like this is just a random thing, but it's just like certain things like that was happening in the show. But it's not about that. They have a. Uh, like the main character, they bring him back, and he was like cold as hell back back in his days. Cold back. <laughs> yeah. But whenever they they bring him back, they want him to to investigate a, a murder. I'm gonna put this in quotation because when you watch the show, you will kind of see what happens. Yeah, that that after this kind of. I was trying to do if I could just upload, but I'm having to edit it now. I'm having, it's gonna be more worried. But uh, so so dude came back to to investigate this murder, and so that's basically what the show is about. So, and you had any gripes with the, with the show? I have some gripes. You know, I always got some gripes. Yeah, I mean, I did. Um, as far as for the plot device of the show, I mean, they were following the book pretty much from what I was reading on Wikipedia. I never read the book. But um, yeah, there were, there were a few little hiccups here and there with the story and like some of it was kind of broken. Like I said, um, 
you know, with most shows, you're gonna have a law. So there was like a few episodes that had a law, like yeah, yeah like like whenever done. they had the torture episode, yeah. I, but that was like a like a, a law on Lenny. Uh, one of you know they they kind of did a Walking Dead, they did a, a backstory. The backstory was pretty nice though. Yeah. So it was it wasn't that bad of, of a thing. But uh, another thing that I didn't I didn't care about, it, it kind of upset me, was because they had certain moments, like they had uh. Certain certain people in the show, like like homeboy, the Chinese dude, when he turned into a Kovacs or whatever. Like he started off, man, he could fight his ass off and shit. Then later on he started getting his ass busted. Like his fight decreased. Whenever his sister came out, like mm. flat flat uh that was a plot uh, spoiler, device. spoiler, spoiler. Yeah. But when the sister came out, she was a ninja. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And she she never fought like that again. No, like, cause like when they, they got this detective, she said it's a lot. The, 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 detective, the detective, she was was with, training with and stuff. Ass. She was training and she was cold and then, then she was getting her ass with the, and stuff. So, like, they, they had inconsistencies, like, with the people fighting abilities and, and stuff. Like, I didn't care for that in a certain certain sense. Because I'm, I'm like, if you could fight, if you cold like that, you should be cold like that, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he winds up, like, he's a loner, but he winds up meeting certain people and, and getting... <laughs> getting, yeah, so... So yeah, yeah, the fighting was real inconsistent. Um, some of the plot elements were kind of real inconsistent too. Um, uh, but like I said, um, it's a beautiful show overall. Like, it's not better than Game of Thrones, but oh, like, they nigga don't no, no, it ain't it ain't better than Game don't, of Thrones. Don't, like, hey, don't say it on my shit. Hey, <laughs> Game of Thrones, hey, Game of Thrones is. But to, to me, that's the elite. <laughs> but I will say, like, when it comes to graphics and stuff, I don't see anything coming close to it. Yeah, especially or for Netflix type type stuff, so, like the, yeah. the the visually visually stunning. Like, uh, it look look, look like every episode is like a hundred million dollar budget or something. I don't I don't know I what they, I don't know what their budget was like. I know it was no hundred million dollars or whatever. But the graphics department and CGI was very much on point. They did they think. Uh, shit. I, I don't want to give away too too much because I don't want to have no spoilers and stuff. So I'm gonna leave it alone. Like uh, the daughter, the daughter. Whenever she finally gets her body back, like towards the end, like she's a. Uh, if they come back for another season, she gonna be an interesting person. Person, yeah. If they keep her fighting consistent, yeah, she can fight. <laughs> yeah, she's fight. like, she's like me on the matrix. And that that's another that's another thing of uh, a uh, uh, similarity. It's kind of like. The Matrix, mm -hmm. but but Neo dies early. <laughs> like the Got woman, it. the they have a, a woman protagonist or whatever early early on, and she's she kind of plays a role in the series, but she died a long time ago. Time ago, yeah, because um, it takes place two hundred fifty years later. Yeah, two hundred yeah. something years, years in the, in the future. And stuff. But, but uh, look forward to the next season. Stuff. I would give it. I would give it like an eight out, eight point five out of ten. I give it a little, little room to grow, like yeah. just, just the plot things, the fighting. I'm just being nitpicky with the fighting and stuff. But I don't want to give it. I don't want to give it like a perfect rating or something, cause like the actors, and they did a good job. But I would like to see and see like people I would have knew maybe, maybe better. But I'm glad, glad that the certain people that was in it got the opportunity. So that's a good thing. Yeah, I give it about a seven point five. Um, it wasn't a bad show. Like I said, um, it needs to improve on the writing a little bit. The showrunner, he he ran the show pretty well. Um, I've seen worse shows like Iron Fist, so it wasn't nothing like that. But but, you know, but as far as right now, if you need something, if you need something to uh, to bench, <laughs> to to burn ten hours, ten hours of your life with, I would say I would recommend that. Re recommend Walter Carp. I would say check it out. And I know this is the Alter Carbon review, but I'm gonna give my Black Panther review. Ten out of ten. <laughs> I already did, I already did my, <laughs> I already did my Black Panther review, but I did give it a ten out of ten. <laughs> like comment, subscribe, go be the greatest of the most hated fuck with your boy. Peace out. <laughs>
and you are right here. They won? Yeah, they won. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you made out the day loss. You made out the shot. Who, uh, Davis? No. Go off and hit a shot and then they called it. And Got the shot off before the, the zeros come up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they said it didn't come? Man, you saw how dirty the game was last night? Between, the Between uh, Golden State and... Uh, oh, man, Golden State. Yeah, but you didn't see how old boy, like, the way he made himself fall on Russell Wilson? Trying to, try to dive on his knees and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but they should, they should be whipping that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yep.